All right, guys. Welcome back to Caveman Crawling. Today we're going to be today is going to be the first part of our B17 Betty build video. We have some Endura high clearance four links and Endura front tie rods on here. We're going to put it on the course. We're going to run it, see how it runs with the new tie rods and the four links. We'll tell you what's up, and then be sh sure to stay tuned. And for on Wednesdays we're going to do B17 Betty build videos. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, it helps us out, it keeps us around, and I'd appreciate it. Give our little add up frame moment there for a second. We have to turn around to stay on the course here. It's running pretty good. The high clearance links on it being a four link system definitely make a difference now. Um, it's high, it's a huge improvement over the wishbone style three link setup. And then be on the lookout every Wednesday we're gonna do a a build video on this and then we'll throw some other build videos in there too. We're gonna be doing a build on a build video series on the JLU. We're gonna do a build series on the Gladiator. We're gonna do a couple videos on our comp buggy setup. And then at some point we're going to do an AX24 review. I'm just not sure when yet. Got to find one to get, a, get our hands on first. It's definitely crawling better with the four link setup. It's got a lot more flex. Until I flip it over. This is the new Caveman HQ set, uh, track setup. We got our course setup, I guess you'd call it. We have we just finally finished getting it set up. Some of the black rock, some of these big tall, these big pieces of rock are obsidian. And, uh, they're definitely slick and pretty tricky to crawl. right here where we're going up at is this red that bright shiny red piece that we're trying that we're going up is obsidian video. 
All right, guys, we're back again. We had more technical diff Well, we had a battery die on us. We had to grab another battery. But as you can tell, it's definitely, the four links are a definite improvement on this. I just kind of suck at crawling today. Um, I guess too many, too much food on the 4th of July has still got me in a food coma. But it's going over lines that a stock axial would never go over without four links. Um, since we flipped it, we'll finish it there and we'll take it over for a review. All right, guys, final thought on the Endura high, high clearance four links and the Endura metal or aluminum, excuse me, uh, steering tie rods. They're definitely an improvement and an upgrade over the stock. I highly recommend them if you're going to, if I'm using a Betty because at the end of this, we're going to give it to my dad as a birthday present. Um, if you were going to do these on like a deadbolt, I highly recommend them over the wishbone three link system. You get a ton more travel and a ton more clearance. They are a huge improvement. I highly recommend them. Um, I can't say enough about them, honestly. I went with the Endura just because that's the parts my dad keeps looking at. He doesn't even know we're going to give this one to him. He just thinks it's a video. We're just It's just a truck we're going to do for YouTube. Um, I have them ran with one rubber grommet instead of both. Just It allows them to, to give more and have more flex. Um, it is definitely an improvement. Stick around, stay tuned on the channel, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to do uh, shocks, wheels and tires on this also. And then we'll do a video at the end of all of that where it goes, at, where we're going to have our other trucks. We're going to do builds as a kind of see who's the king of the mountain of all of them. And if you guys could... Uh, I don't know where I was going, but uh, that was getting, that's all from the HQ. Thanks for stopping by and watching us, and we'll catch you on the trail.